Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Wall to Wall Inks and today I'm going to talk about how I clean brushes. What tools I use to clean brushes as well as what type of cleaning solution and without further ado, here we go. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Wall to Wall Inks and today I'm going to talk to you about how I clean brushes. Everyone cleans their brushes differently but this is how I clean it. So we have a regular brush as well as one of these uh, pocket brushes if you want to clean this. Usually I don't really clean these brushes. Think of it this way, if you buy a uh, pocket brush, an inking pocket brush that has ink in there, you don't usually clean that all the time. This is like a nylon brush so I don't really clean it. But for some of you who want to clean it, this is how you can clean it. So some of the items I have when I'm cleaning brushes is this, uh, the Master's Brush Cleaner. That's this, this item over here. It's a nice conditioner and a cleaner. So once you open that up, as you can tell, I've been using this to clean the brushes. And the other, other item I have is the Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is for people who use uh, makeup they just use this to clean the brushes, but I use this to clean my art brushes. So let's see what's inside here. Now here's the makeup brush cleaner. Let's see what's inside. So we have the instruction manual, but you know, don't need to look at that. And then here we have a holder that holds the the attachments. So you can put you know different different attachments here, here, like like so. Okay, this also comes with a little bottle, but I don't use the bottle. Here's the different size of attachments. Different attachments, okay. So these are all the different size attachments. Now the attachments, this comes with a different widths, barrel shaped like, uh, like this, okay. So if you had a brush this size, you, you would fit this one, say, in this one. Or if you had a brush of this size, this one would fit uh, the smaller one. Or if you had this one, this one would fit uh, maybe this one. So if you had larger brushes, you can use different sizes. So put this away. Now all of these items that comes with this uh, brush cleaner, the only thing, oh yeah, this comes with a little container. But I don't really use a container. Uh, I just use your regular uh, jar of water. So the only thing I need here is this and maybe this, this smaller container and then you just put this attachment right here. So all of this we don't need and this is the only thing we need. So this is the only thing I use inside the brush cleaner. So this brush cleaner comes with attachments as you can see here. These little plastic things, what I do is I just put this attaches here and then you can take a brush and then just push it right in there so it'll hold the brush like that. And then when you turn it on, it'll just spin. You see how it's, how it's spinning? And there's two speeds. There's a small speed as well as a, a quicker speed. One of the brushes I use uh, for, uh, most is this, uh, this, this, I call it a disposable uh, watercolor brush. Uh, the reason for that is only it's so cheap compared to one of these, one of these Windsor Newton $20 brushes. Like when this falls apart, I could just toss it away. And when I clean this brush, uh, if you need to clean it, uh, I'll just attach it here. And this motor comes with two different speeds. There's the slower speed, which makes it wiggle like this. And then you have the faster speed that, that makes it spin quicker. So you can see how it's spinning like so. So when I'm cleaning, I will have two jars of water. So here's one jar and here's another jar. And then what I'll do is I'll take this brush and then I'll pick up some of the brush cleaner, the master's brush cleaner. Wet the brush a little bit, get, pick up some of the pick up some of the soap that's in here. And then I will add the attachment like this. And I will put this right in here. Right in here like this. And then the first beat wiggles it around like that. So it kind of swooshes it. And then with the second speed, it makes it go quicker. Now I will have two 
bottles of water. One would contain the dirty water, and then the second bottle I use that would contain the cleaner water. So I'll turn that off. Once I have that, I'll put this in the cleaner water, and then I'll switch this like so. And then go to a higher speed, like this. And I'll kind of use that and then go on the side of the bottle a little bit. And then once that's done, you pull, pull it out of the water and let it spin for a bit so it will dry the brush. And then once you have that, you can put this aside. And you can see how clean, see how clean that brush is? It cleans it pretty quickly. So that's how we, that's how I clean uh, these brushes. Now another thing that uh, some of you who has a brush, for example, like this one, check it out. This is a Winsor Newton brush. It's, it's frayed, it's all open, pretty bad condition. Now, now when you use this brush cleaner, this also not only does it clean the brush, it also conditions the brush. This is the Winsor Newton Series 7 number two brush. And it, as you can see, it's all frayed and falling apart. It's not in great condition. Now you can take care of this and fix it again. So what I'll do is I'll take this, this brush cleaner and then I'll use some of this and then I'll take a bottle of water, bottle of water, I'll wet it a little bit and then I'll kind of turn it in here a little bit to pick up some of the, pick up some of the soap. Now as I'm doing this, I'm trying to lather up the soap where there's a good foam bubble shape thing there. After I have that, then I'll take the brush tip and I'll kind of make this into a tip again. So right here, make this go into a tip. And make it into a nice sharp tip. Now, after you get that point, you're gonna want to let it dry overnight. Once it's dried, uh, the brush will go into the, to a fine tip the next day you brush. The next day you're gonna use this brush. So right here, as you can see, the brush is a nice fine point. Let it dry overnight. Once it once it hardens up, then the next time you use it to for inking or painting or anything else, your brush will have a nice fine point. Okay, there's that. So any questions, comment down below. And if you need, if you want to get any of these items, like for example, this uh, brush clean, this uh, brush cleaner, or this makeup cleaner, I've added links below that you can order some uh, on your own. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good time cleaning your brushes.